As a young child, I used to visit the zoo annually. We'd wake up really early in the morning and get ready to spend the entire day at the Columbus Zoo exploring and learning all about the animals. On the way there, my family and I would discuss which exhibits we wanted to visit first. We got especially excited when a new exhibit opened. We'd be sure to place it on top of the list. After hours of exploring, we'd finally come home. My sisters and I would always sleep on the way home, dreaming about how much fun it would to be to own a monkey. Hi, I'm Annalise Bennett. I'm going to be your speaker for today, and I want to thank all of you for coming out to support this charity to help raise money for the protection and wellness of animals. To start out, I want to give you guys some background information. The Columbus Zoo has been in service since 1927, and it has 2 million visitors annually. The Columbus Zoo's mission statement is, lead and inspire by connecting people and wildlife. I am going to inform you about the Columbus Zoo and Aquarium because it is a very helpful nonprofit organization that I think more people need to be aware of and participate in. Today I'm going to discuss the importance of the zoo's history, important facts, local support, and the significance on education. To start out, I want to tell you all about the Columbus Zoo's history. The Columbus Zoo has been functioning since 1927. It used to be housed at Franklin Park with a small display of donated animals, and then it later moved to its current location. In 1956, the zoo made history of Kolo. Kolo is the world's first captive-born gorilla. There's a picture of Kolo. After telling you all about the history of the zoo, I want to tell you some impressive stats and figures. When speaking to Haley, a worker at the zoo, she informed me that the Columbus Zoo has over 2 million visitors each year. She said that the zoo is always busy with school field trips and youth groups. According to the facts and figures of Columbus Zoo, the Columbus Zoo is home to more than 11,000 animals that represent nearly 600 different species from all around the globe. That's a lot of animals and to store them you need a lot of room which is why the zoo complex expands over 588 acres. All of these animals are very interesting and fun to interact with, which is why the zoo is a global region of attraction with a global impact. The facts and figures also state that the zoo annually receives $4 million of privately raised funds to support conservation projects worldwide. The zoo has contributed over $3.3 million to more than 70 different projects in 30 different countries. The Columbus Zoo funds the wilds, which is a 10,000 acre animal conservations, and they also fund other conservation centers all around the world. These statistics are very helpful in understanding the importance of the zoo. Now I'm going to tell you what the locals say and do with the zoo. According to Ohio Central, the local residents have repeatedly supported the Columbus Zoo and residents have approved the increased property tax to support the zoo multiple years in a row. Also, the local businesses have donated millions of dollars to help finance the zoo's exhibits and to help cover operating expenses. The financial aid is the reason the Columbus Zoo is one of the leading zoos in the United States. The Columbus Zoo is a sport is supported by many big businesses and corporations. There are five main donators. They are Nationwide, Pepsi Cola, Fifth Third Bank, Ohio Health, and Kroger. Other businesses that support the Columbus Zoo are Wendy's, German Cars, the Gongard School for Early Childhood Development, Bob Evans, and Donato's Pizza, and AEP Ohio. The zoo is supported by all the local and large corporations because of the zoo's educational focus. The zoo focuses on education with its large outreach programs. According to the Columbus Zoo's website in 2014, the zoo's education team offered more than 2,000 programs to more than 300,000 participants. These programs are preschool classes, field trips, summer camps, overnight outings, teen and scout programs, adult and teacher workshops, and even more. According to Haley, the zoo even offers scholarships to many of the education programs. These scholarships are made possible through the donations submitted directly to the education department. In conclusion, 
the zoo, the Columbus Zoo and Aquarium is very important to its historical value, the animal population, the locals' enjoyment, and the student and the children's education. We should be funding the Columbus Zoo because how much it does for the animals and their protection, animal conservations all over the world, and for the education experience for children. I want to encourage all of you to go to the Columbus Zoo's website and on the top right hand corner hit the button that says give. This will take you directly to the page where you can donate or sponsor an animal. I'm going to end with a quote from Betty White. People forget the good that zoos do. If it weren't for zoos, we would have so many species that would be extinct today. And these are my works cited. Thank you for watching.